I'm not ready, he said. Yet every action afterward was a bittersweet contradiction. You know why, he said. Mm -hmm. Yet I couldn't refuse my heart, and it was broken by the constant confusion. Come over, he said. Mm -hmm. Yes, I laid there, feeling the effects of the morning after, even though he was right next to me. Oh. <laughs> I need you, he said. Yet that need turned into sensual pleasure, barely scratching the surface of who I am, a factor he just couldn't see. Let's just take it slow, he said. Yet slow was only applied when it came to public display of affection. Oh, behind closed doors, it was anything but slow. Nothing's wrong, he said. Yet the tension between us when no one was speaking consumed the oxygen from the air I breathed, leaving my existence poisoned. You held my heart with no intention of holding my, well, you held my hand with no intention of holding my heart. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You claim that you're a king, but you're anything but. A king is one who rules with dignity and honor. A king is one who rules by faith and not by sight. A king is one who is the foundation for his family, not the cause for its destruction. A king is one who loves and provides with no intention of material gain. You are not a king. Yeah. You are a coward. Cool. You are the typical black man who makes it hard for us black women to trust ourselves. left me as. Little did you know that my soul was still hanging on. I struggled to get back up. I used my hands to wipe away my tears. I used the strength from my queen, my mother, to push me back on my feet. I used the strength of a king, my father, to stand straight and tall. I used the power of faith my faith, and I put both my hands on top of my heart, and I pushed into the deepest tissues, and I felt for a pulse. I felt for a beat. Do you feel that? I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> 